This video is brought to you by Ridge Wallet, a slim front pocket wallet available in carbon fiber and titanium. With more than 250,000 sold, a lifetime guarantee and free shipping, get 10% off with the code GOLDFISH at RidgeWallet.com. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another Instant Deck Tech. So as you know, Monday means it's Modern Monday here in Instant Deck Tech land, and we have a fun one to look at today. So as you probably have learned over past deck decks, past decks, one of the most powerful things you can do in Modern is cheat and Emrakul the Eons Dorn into play, but today's deck is looking to do that in... Yeah, let's say a less traditional way. This is Summoner's Egg, and I found this deck through Jeff Hoogland, who I'm not sure how he got it. I know he played it on his stream a while ago, so uh, congrats to Jeff on a cool deck. It might have been viewer submitted, but regardless of where it comes from, that's where I got it from. Streamer extraordinaire Jeff Hoogland. So anyway, a quick reminder before we break down Summoner's Egg for Modern. If you enjoy this deck and you want to see it main to videos, take a minute, click the like button, the subscribe subscribe button, leave a comment, anything you can do to support your deck, because whichever deck is most popular gets a shot at being made into videos next week. So Summoner's Egg is built around the card Summoner's Egg, and you might not know what this one does. It is back from the earliest block legal and modern, original mirrored in block, so four mana artifact creature. It has imprint, so when it comes into play, you can exile a card from your hand from the game face down. So basically, you play it, you exile a card from your hand, and then when Summoner's Egg is put into the graveyard from play, so when it dies, you get to turn the imprinted card face up. If it's a creature, you put it into play under your control. So the idea of this deck is we are going to play Summoner's Egg, and we are really hoping that we have an Emrakul or, well, secondarily, a World Spine Worm in hand to exile to the Summoner's Egg. So if we play Summoner's Egg, exile an Emrakul, the Eon Storm, or World Spine Worm, all we gotta do is find a way to kill our Summoner's Egg, and we get to summon an Emrakul or a World Spine Worm, hatches from the egg, comes into play, kills our opponent. So to actually be able to kill our Summoner's Egg, we have a few different plans, because that's important. In a format like Modern, with cards like Path to Exile, running around. We can't just trust that Summoner's Egg is going to die. Our opponent's going to know something's up when we play Summoner's Egg. So we want to be able to make sure we can kill our own Summoner's Egg. So we have a couple of different options for this. One of the sweetest is Greater Gargadon. We just suspend it in the early game, and then we can sack an artifact creature or land to remove a time counter from it. So once we Summoner's Egg, at any time at instant speed, we can just sacrifice it, get that Emrakul. Phyrexian Core is a nice backup, a colorless land that lets us pay one, tap it to sack an artifact and gain a life. Summoner's Egg, it's an artifact. So those are ways that our Emrakul or World Spine Worm can spring forth from the egg. We also have some removal, which is in our deck to deal with our opponent's stuff primarily, a Braid Dismember, but our removal spells are carefully chosen to also be able to kill Summoner's Egg. A Braid blows up the Artifact Summoner's Egg Dismember, might cost us a bit of life, but it's a backup we can kill our own Summoner's Egg to get our Emrakul or World Spine Worm. We also have a backup plan to cheat our big creatures into play because with just four summoner's eggs, there's a risk that we'll draw our emeralds, we'll draw our world spine worms, but we won't draw the summoner's egg and our deck will just do nothing. So through the breach just lets us for five mana slam our hasty emerald world spine worm into play, smash our opponent, kind of a more traditional way of cheating those big things into play. Otherwise, we have a bunch of ramp to speed up the deck. Tally's men of impulse, gruel signet. If we can play these on turn two, on turn three, three, we have the mana to play our Summoner's Egg, assuming we have, like, our Greater Gargadon suspended, or another way to kill the Summoner's Egg. That gets us all by itself a turn three Emrakul or World Spine Worm when everything goes well. Simeon Spirit Guide kinda does the same thing. We can speed it up even more, like play our Gruul Signet on turn one or something, and then turn two Summoner's Egg, turn three be attacking with Emrakul. So these cards just make the deck even faster, even scarier. Ancient Stirring's great for consistency. It finds our Summoner's Egg, it finds finds our Emrakul, also finds our random ramp spells. So on turn one, this is a great card for digging five cards deep, setting up all of our combo pieces. Mana base, we talked about Fraxian Core. It's in there to sack Summoner's Egg. We also have some fetch lands, some shock lands, some basic lands. In the sideboard, we get another way of cheating things into play, summoning trap. So uh, mostly we're wrapping into it for six mana. Although if we happen to cast a Summoner's Egg, let's say, and it gets countered, we can activate the trap ability, play it for zero mana, hopefully grab a world 
we'll find more Emer Emerkel from the top of our deck as long as it's in the top seven cards. For removal, we have Kozlex Return, basically just a instant speed Pyroclasm in our deck, some more Braids, and then some targeted hate stuff. Damping Sphere for Storm and Tron, Blood Moon to deal with Tron, and also just jank people out. Graph Digger's Cage for Graveyards Collected Companies, and that is Summoner's Egg Combo for Modern. And that's been our instant deck tech for today, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.